What is good, all my gamers out there? It's that X Murder and Beast, the A and Beast here. Today, I'm bringing you guys more of that Crisis 3 multiplayer beta gameplay. On this video, I'm going to be showcasing the Hunter game mode, the second game mode available to you on the beta. And I'm going to be giving you guys pretty much information about this game mode, too. And just pretty much give you guys my opinions about this game mode. So if you're at all interested in that, then do stay tuned and watch the whole video. Now, guys, Hunter is the game mode that they've been kind of showcasing with their Crisis 3 trailers and stuff. You see the guy with the bow and stuff like that. And now, they I, I got to say that they kind of tried to hype this game mode up. And I say it is a pretty interesting game mode. Now, this game mode is a round-based game mode. So, now expect to be playing this for you know, quite some time. It's five rounds. So, it can go quick or slow just really depends on how the team is playing but it is five round base now you have a tw total of 12 players on this game mode and it, that could be more for pc because i believe pc has a higher player count but for consoles it's 12 players now 10 of those players are going to be the cell surgers that you see me using right now these are pretty much the bare bones guys and then you have the hunters that are the guys with the nano suit jack you know, you can do all the cloaking stuff and the super jump you have all the those are the hunters now as a cell operative guys the only objective that you have from this game mode is to stay alive because you guys are bare bones you don't have those nano suits and stuff so you feel all people are weak compared to the hunters now you have to pretty much wait for your pickup now this is what um this the base of this game mode is like you're kind of waiting for somebody to come pick you up and get you out of here so you have to wait a minute and i believe it's a minute and 60 seconds or a minute and 59 seconds is one of the two. I mean, it's no really no big difference, but pretty much you have to wait that go. long just to um, win the game mode with the cell soldiers. Now, the longer you survive, for every few seconds you get more points at it. So you can be somebody that's not really getting too many kills, can but can still be like somewhere in second or third place if you're just staying alive long enough. Now, as you see in the mini map right here, um, with the red lines on the left side and the bottom, that just means that a hunter is near you and a clinging noise starts to happen as soon as they get near you. So it kind of builds that tension. It's like, oh crap, I don't want to be like the black guy that always dies first in the movies, you know? So it, it gives you a warning because the hunters have unlimited UAV. So they know where you are at all times, guys. So you have to use your gadgets or even just your team to stay alive for as long as you can. Now, you guys are watching some Hunter gameplay, and by far, you're going to have the most fun as a Hunter, because if you're used to the regular multiplayer of Crisis, you know how the nano suit is, you get to jump freaking crazy, and all sorts of stuff. Well, here, guys, we have infinite cloaking. Not unless you get caught in an EMP radius, but even then, when you back up and you know, retreat for a little while, it will uh, recover, but you have infinite cloaking, so... These guys are going to have a hard time seeing you. On top of that, you have this one hit or quitter bow right here, guys. This bow would drop people one hit all the time. So you're pretty much hunting your prey. It's like a tiger hunting a deer, guys. This is pretty much how they feel. Like, the cell operatives are so weak. <laughs> it feels like, compared to the guys with the nano suits, it's just really crazy. So you have a limited UAV, as I said earlier. So you always know where these guys are at at all times so this is pretty much where the fun comes in because you get to hunt people down now each time you kill a cell member you be you turn them into one of you guys pretty much so they only have one left to live it's not like they keep respawning or anything like that so once you kill one of them they become a hunter so it's pretty damn cool i like using the hunter i'm not going to take away from the cell um soldiers like when you're using them it can be fun because of the tension because you want to stay alive and you're freaking out because you don't know if you're going to be the next one to die but definitely by far you're probably going to have the most fun using the hunters because i mean who doesn't like being invisible and shooting people down with a bow and arrow i mean it's, it's crazy <laughs> so all in all guys i can say this game mode can be fun but it's not something that i can see myself playing all hardcore i mean it's one of those game modes where if you just want to relax and not take things way too seriously you can come play it that you do have um the scores you now whoever has a higher score is going to be in first place but i don't see this game mode being that competitive it's just something that you want to play 
Wow, just man. to you know, get away from the competitive scene for a little while and just to have fun. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, do leave a thumbs up. It always does help. And if you're a new viewer, do subscribe for some more Crisis 3 beta gameplay and also some A and B dopeness. I'll be talking to you guys later. Peace.